What's going on, geeks and gamers? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and welcome to Gaming with Geeks. And the PlayStation 5 officially had its reveal. For the first time, we see what the PlayStation 5 actually looks like, and you can take a look and see right there. And there's a lot of people that have opinions about this. In addition to how it looks, we also got to know a few of the titles that will be available for PlayStation 5, but not all of them necessarily at launch. So we're going to get into it. First of all, let's take a look at the ps5 um now my initial thoughts we did do a reaction live stream to all of this you can check that out up at uh, the geeks and gamers live channel in a little bit i'll get uploading that soon but when you look at it it, it looks a little bit strange you know it's it's not uh it's not a perfect edge you know it's rounded a little bit kind of reminds a lot of people the ps3 uh, it looks weird when you look at it from head on you can see it's got a little bit of an arc and a curve to it i hate the white i'll say that straight up i don't like the white version of this you all know that here on gaming with geeks and on my channel specifically i've had a lot of issues with sony and what they've done i'm not sold on buying a playstation 4 but when i look at it if i were to get it it would be black uh, i i don't like the white at all um Hey, okay, USB port. Here's a little bit of look at that inside. Obviously, these vents. This thing's going to put off a lot of heat. I think everyone can basically agree. It looks like it can only be, I think it can only be on its, sitting like this. I don't think you can put it down on its side. I think it's intended to be like that. Now, um, we start looking a little more. That's a little bit different view of that strange edge with the disk drive. Oh, a headset jack. There you go. It won't all be Bluetooth. Um, now, one of the interesting things right here, now look at this. This is the digital-only PS5, which was a surprise to a lot of people. You can buy a PS5 with no disk drive. No idea what the price is going to be, none whatsoever. But the, the idea that you could buy one digital-only is very interesting. I'm wondering how places like GameStop feel about selling a console with digital-only accessibility you know what I mean that's one of the things I thought of when we first saw this the, the digital edition is what it's called um, a little better look at the controllers again a lot of people talked about these controllers I don't think they actually look that much different than the ps4 controller there's slight difference a little more rounded feel but I think the fact that it's white really makes it look a lot like and there's a, a camera if you want and the headset whatever let's see what people are saying uh, the, oh yes, a lot of people reacted to this. Sony and Microsoft waiting to see who reveals their price first. We don't know. We've heard rumors that the PlayStation 5 is going to be incredibly expensive, but not revealed today. That'll come at a later time. A lot of PlayStation fanboys out there, a lot of exploit fanboys out there fighting over which is better. Me praying the PS5 is under $500. People really be calling the PS5 a router when the Xbox be looking like this, a trash can. Uh, since this mf -er is a router now, I do not want to hear no excuses of y'all lagging. That's <laughs> pretty good. There's there's always the memes, right? There is the, uh, the PS5 of Sauron. There it is right there, the eye of Sauron. A lot of people hating on it, a lot of people loving it. You guys know how it is. But what I want to talk about now is the games that we found out in the one the one that made me, the only thing that made me cheer during this entire event was this, Horizon 2 Forbidden West. The sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, a lot of people were hoping this would be there. There wasn't any gameplay per se, it all mostly looked cinematic, but some of it could have been gameplay capture, I suppose. But uh, Horizon 2, uh, the adventures of Aloy will continue in this incredible world of Horizon that for those of us that played it on PS4, really, really enjoyed. That is is the one thing that really stood out to me about this. This is the one one that blew my mind when I heard it. The other one, a release date was not listed on that. That is important to note. No release date. Miles Morales Spider-Man. This took a lot of people by surprise. We've heard a lot of rumors about uh, Spider-Man PS5, and none of them involved Miles Morales being the centered character. The ones that I saw and the ones that we covered here on this channel. So this seems a little strange. Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales is a sequel to PS4 exclusive with Miles Morales taking the lead role of Spider-Man this time around. The release date was simply set for holiday 2020. What I wonder with this game is, is it really a new game or is it basically just a big DLC 
this is how I like I'm kind of looking at this game. Is this just a big DLC that's made on the same engine that would normally just be DLC that they're going to try to make into another game and it's just miles focused? That's kind of how it feels to me, but I don't know yet. Um, because, like I said, this doesn't really match up with a lot of rumors we've heard about the official Spider-Man PS5 that would have involved Peter Parker as the main character. But who knows? Who knows if those were real? But we do know we're getting Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales Holiday 2020. So this will be a launch title, we assume, with the PS5. Uh, Resident Evil 8 The Village was revealed. We had heard all about that. Now, I don't believe that that is going to be a, PS4, a PS5 exclusive, but its release date will be sometime in 2021. Looked pretty cool. Gran Turismo 7. I'm not a big racing person, but a lot of people love Gran Turismo and those racing games. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. This looked very interesting. Um, I played them when I was younger. I don't know how much I'd be interested in playing it right now, but I know there's a huge fan base that is really excited about a new Ratchet & Clank game for the PS5. We also, oh, that was more of that. Demon Souls Remake. I know Mark the Cyborg on stream got really excited when he saw this was happening, the Demon Souls Remake. Deathloop PS5 gameplay, that was okay. Um, Arcane Studios, a lot of people were just saying, well, it's nothing special. It looked okay. NBA, okay, I'm not even going to talk about NBA 2K21. We know what the deal is with that. GTA Online will be free, or GTA 5 Online. We saw the Rockstar logo pop up. Everybody thought it was going to be GTA 6, but no. Um, GTA 5 for free on PlayStation 5, which is interesting. Uh, I think GTA 6 is a long way away still. Um, what else? Sackboy, a big adventure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not big into that. Hitman 3. Hitman 3, it was mostly cinematics, but that, you know, I'm down for that. I'm down for Hitman 3. Ghostwire Tokyo looked really cool. I really want to see more of this game. Godfall, Godfall gameplay was also revealed for the first time. The release date will be holiday of 2020, so you, that will be a launch title. Pragmata, they didn't, I don't really know what that is. It was, uh, some people really liked it, but I, I was like, eh, whatever. Astro's Playroom, don't care. Oddworld Soulstorm, a lot of people who have played this before really are excited that there was, that there is going to be a sequel for that. Uh, the gameplay, a lot of gameplay in that uh, as well. And one thing I will say about this entire PlayStation reveal is uh, it was better done than Xbox, right? It was more well done than Xbox. They didn't, uh, there were some cinematics, but there was also a good amount of gameplay sprinkled in. I think the audience reaction was overall much better than Xbox's was received. Returnal. This looked interesting. The little bit of gameplay we saw for Returnal looked very, very intriguing and something that I think a lot of us are going to want to know more about. Destruction All-Stars, a racing game. Don't know how it works. Spend some of the time racing and destroying other cars, some of the time on the ground. Jeremy was all about it because, you know, he loves his racing games. Project Athia was announced. No idea really what this is or when we're going to get it. It was just kind of a, a teaser trailer. That's, that's the best way to describe it. Stray, a, a game where you're a cat that looked really dumb. Kenna Bridges of Spirit was announced. Uh, Kena maybe? Kenna? I, I don't forget if it was Kena or not. This looked cool. Uh, it, looked, it looked kind of like Zelda-style gameplay in a, in a little bit of a ways. Um... Something that I, I think a lot of people are going to be intrigued in. They're developed by Ember Labs, uh, and it is confirmed to be a PlayStation 5 console exclusive. So that's going to be, uh, a, I think that's going to be a kind of a, a spoiler, not a spoiler, a uh, one that you wouldn't normally expect that's going to do pretty well when it does eventually come out. This looked dumb as hell. No one knows anything about this stupid anime furry game, Goodbye Volcano High. It looks stupid. Terrible. Jet the Far Shore, no idea. Terrible gameplay trailer. It didn't even know what that's about. Solar Ash gameplay. Um, we didn't get to know what too much about that either. Mark the Cyborg is pretty familiar with Hyperlight Drifter. Um, but again, not too much was revealed. Little Devil Inside. Uh, I don't even remember that one. Bug Snacks that is so stupid. The Bug Snacks trailer made me want to poke my eyes out. I hate that. And that is all that I know that was revealed. Now, again, people are going to be arguing about this for a long time. A lot of people think PlayStation has it in the bag now after that reveal. A lot of people still think Xbox is the king. It's going to be interesting to note. I did want to show, let's go to Xbox. 
um, because somebody put out something. Uh, Xbox has been doing a lot of stuff. Basically, a lot of the a lot of the things that were announced are like, hey, guess what? We have that too. Just making sure that everyone knows that it can be on Xbox as well. When it comes to this console war, it's too early to declare a winner. I think that X or that PlayStation's presentation was much better than Xbox's, but at the end of the day, that price point, that price point is gonna tell everybody. It's gonna put a lot of people out if the PlayStation is more than $100 expensive than the Xbox. That, that's my feelings about it. We're going to see. All will be revealed in time. But let me know what you guys think about this. Specifically, how do you think the PlayStation 5 looks? That's something that doesn't really matter at all when you're talking about gameplay or how you're going to enjoy a console for the next five years. But it's something a lot of people care about. How do you feel like the PlayStation 5 looks? And I'll even go back up as we end it. We'll go back up so I can get you a picture of it so you don't forget what it looks like. What do you think of the PlayStation 5? What did you think of the reveal? What do you think of the games? Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I will talk to you later.